Hello everyone. I'm super excited to be in here. I'm, if you're on here with me, let me know. Hello. Um, we are here at Lowe's in St. Joseph, Missouri, and I am going to show you a few things that I love here at Lowe's. I'm going to talk about some different things. Um, we talked last night in the group about the three things that are the most important things to put on your front porch, which was furniture, rugs, and um, what was the other one? Um, lighting. So, um, I'm going to talk about some different things. I have some notes here that I want to go over with you. And I hope I'm not, oh, flowers, furniture, and rugs were the top three. Lighting was the number four. And number five is decorative items. And number six is storage for towels, blankets, and sunscreens and things like that. I'm kind of going through this because people are looking at me like I'm crazy. So, <laughs> And number seven, this is the top seven things. I went through the top three things in the group last night. Um, but this is the top seven things that I think that you could really get um, in your on your front porch. Um, so I'm gonna go through those again with you guys. Um, number one, flowers. Number two, furniture. Number three, rugs. Number four, lighting. Number five, decorative items. And I'll kind of go a little bit into decorative items. And number six, storage for like towels and sunscreen. That depends on um, what, what you have on your front porch and where you're at. And number seven, special things. And special things, I'm gonna tell you kind of like the wow factor that you need. If you're on here with me, guys, come on here and say hello. And um, tell me what your front porch looks like. Is it small? Is it large? What color your house is? All those things make a huge difference when you're decorating your front porch. And I'll kind of give you guides in different um, directions as we're going through here. But I really wanna show you why we're here at Lowe's, all the things I wanna show you. Is, it, is there some people on here with me? Hello everybody, I'm super excited to be here. Thank you so much for being here in the group. Okay, one of the things that I wanna start with is decorative pots. And decorative pots, um, it's kinda of chilly out here, I'll be honest. <laughs> decorative pots are really important. I wanted to show you this decorative pot right here because they're coming out with really pretty white pots. And I think that's super important. One of the main things I think this is important is because a lot of houses right now, um, if you have a stained um, house, like a cedar home, these are super pretty because if you have a dark home, you really wanna have light things in front of it. And I just am thrilled with these. They are the prettiest white pots that I've been. I've been everywhere, I've been to Menards, I've been to Home Depot, I've been everywhere. And, and Lowe's seem to have the prettiest white pots. I hope you guys can still hear me. And um, they have the prettiest pots and they come in all different sizes. So I like that. When you're layering up your different pots, look how the different sizes are right here. From this larger one down to this size, they're super pretty guys. So come to Lowe's to get your pots. So I love these. These are like some of my favorite. And another thing I love too is to layer them like these kind of pots. So if you have a blue house like this, the, the front porch makeover that we're doing tomorrow, our house is really dark and it's really pretty um, important to layer different colors and different things like that so that you can the house stands out in itself so if you have a dark house this is really important to take note of is the different colors of the pot um, especially if it's up by your front door so that's a win i think that's a big win okay another one i want to show you is people ask me a lot about colored pots and i think they're super pretty um, like um, what kind of pots and different things like that you can have, um, I really like the more risen ones because they don't break in the in the winter time. If you get more of the plastic ones, they're gonna break. I mean, you can't leave them outside and things like that. You have to bring them in. So if you get concrete, you get risen or something like that, they're, they're, gonna, they're gonna last you a lot longer. And especially by your front door, guys, because I always am about um, faux topiaries. Does anybody have faux topiaries? And I'm gonna show you and tell you that that is like my number one thing that I will tell you that you need to make your house really pretty and have green foliage all year long. So you're gonna have to have some pots that can last the winters of all different seasons, okay? For the expansions and different things like that. So invest in some really nice pots for sure. Um, they have a huge selection here. One other one I wanna show you, if you kind of got a little coastal looking theme in your house, if you guys can hear me, give me some thumbs up and stuff. Um, some coastal looking theme ones. Come here, I'll show you what I found. Really super pretty. These white ones are gorgeous. I just love these. And those are really pretty if you kind of have a little coastal theme. Um, or just really just want a really fresh, clean look. Those are really, really super pretty. Layer those up by your front door. 
Um, another thing I get asked all the time is if you do faux flowers, do you put sand or whatever you put in there? Yes, you don't have to put um, soil in them. I wouldn't waste your money on, on really good soil. What I would do is I would put um, more like uh, rocks or sand in there to hold them down. But we'll get more into that tomorrow when we're, when we're actually decorating the front porches is how to do it. But I just wanted to show you these. This is super pretty. Okay, one of the things that I talk about is this something special. If you have a huge front porch, some of you guys have small ones, some of you don't. One of the things I wanna show you that you can do to give it an ambiance and um, different things is I'll show you, come with me. Come on here, tell me hello. Tell me, tell me where you guys are watching from. Thank you guys for being here. Um, I absolutely love fountains. I have kind of told you guys about that too, about fountains. They have tabletop fountains up here. So if you had just like a little setting area on your front porch, you could put a tabletop. Um, they start at $34.98. That is such a great Mother's Day gift to give. Um, those are super pretty. I love this, this bright blue one up here. You have to go out into the garden section to look at these for the tabletop, but super cute. If you have a small front porch, get a tabletop fountain. It's so pretty and you can hear the ambiance. So, go outside so you got to make sure you go outside and then if you have a bigger one you can always put a little fountain on the front porch somewhere too um just to give it that that sound of the the the, the water and the ambiance and things like that so there's a huge selection here at um Lowe's. Okay, guys, another thing before we leave, I want to show you, so we have to walk all the way back inside, but this is a must. You have got to see this, um, and it's a, it's a cool way, so come on. Does anybody have any questions? If you have any questions, leave them below, okay? Let's go walk. <laughs> anybody have any questions? Hello, everybody. <laughs> We're going to walk through the whole section here. Lots and lots of different pots. There's some really pretty greenery here. Um, one of my favorite things to get here um, is a lot of different annuals because you know you can put them anywhere and they have lots of different varieties. So keep on walking, guys. We're trying to walk really fast. <laughs> it's hard when you're doing these little shopping tours and everything's so spread out. <laughs> Look at all the pretty flowers they have. They have lots of beautiful flowers. Okay. Almost there, guys. Right up there. Now we're going inside. So, guys, another thing that you will hear me talk about is rugs. Rugs is a huge importance when you're decorating a space. And Lowe's has, is the win for this. Um, I have never seen an indoor-outdoor selection of rugs like this in my life. I love this. Look at the variety here. They hang them up so you guys can see them. And they also give the prices and all the details. But I'm going to show you one of the reasons I really love these. Look at this. Like, if you were wanting to go with a turquoise like this, it shows you right here. It hangs it up. But look, it's like the first look. If you have a little setting area, you could do this, and you could do this one on your front, like right in front of your door. I love this because you can totally see what you're getting, and you can mix and match them where you don't have to have them. But they're coordinated. So I love how they coordinate. Like these two, this is a solid. I love how that is completely solid. But then this one has just a little bit of stripe in it to coordinate with it. So if you have different areas. So if you have an eating area, like a dining area, and then you have a setting area. These are two pretty ones. I love this section. That is so cool that Lowe's has this. And they have them at all different sizes. And then they give them like, I think they start off at five by eight, and then they go all the way up to, let's see here. Like this one goes to an like eight by 10. It's as big as they go, but this is amazing. You don't get this kind of selection anywhere else. And not that I've seen in our town, so. Oh, there is some that are 9 by 12, so they do go up big to bigger sizes. Okay, guys, this is really what I wanted to show you here. And this is really a plus if you're de decorating your outdoor spaces because everybody needs rugs. And, um, and if you can get different ones that kind of gives you different um, uh, 
shapes and sizes and things like that and they coordinate, that's really, truly important to get that. And what a great selection that they have here at Lowe's. Okay, guys, I will take you to the next place and I, I will see you soon. Thank you so much for being here. Bye.